Well, we got ourselves a clear hook. We're about to head down. before the video starts this is a test episode so it counts as episode zero and because it's a test episode i didn't do my best editing but i still think it's decent i made sure to cut out unneeded information i kept the video at a steady editing pace so um, make sure to stick around until the end and subscribe because i want a goal to hit 100 subscribers by the end of the month thank you and let's get into it All right, well, according to these w good weather conditions, yeah, still climbing. The forecast is very good. Today is a very good day for a um, pretty massive tornado. All right, well, this forecast is going to be great for today's chase. All right, well, this is going to be our first ever episode of The Wedges, which is going to be a five-episode series on one of the pretty big tornadoes. Just pretty big tornadoes. We, we will be intercepting them, they will be hitting towns, we will be reviewing damage. Just anything you would think of about a wedge. It'll be massive destruction, winds that exceed over 150 miles an hour. You know, EF, maybe EF5, we may even get an EF5 in this series, you never know. Well, I hope you guys are ready, as, you know, we might have a uh, storm forming up pretty soon. So we're going to go ahead and get out, I'm going to showcase our intercept vehicle for today's chase. This is our TIV, TIV 2, which will be our intercept vehicle for today. Um, it's gonna, it can withstand over 220 mile an hour winds, so if we do intercept an EF-5, we have a good chance of surviving as very rare, rarely an EF-5 will exceed 220 miles an hour. So let's go ahead and show you the deployment system. First, an airbag drops from putting extra weight onto the vehicle. Then the first side drops down onto the ground. Same with the second side. Then the front drops. Then little drills drill into the ground. Anchoring the whole vehicle into withstanding 220 mile an hour winds. Today's chase. Well, today's chase will start out like a normal chase. You'll be driving to our location and intercepting these tornadoes. Now, as we wait for the first tornado to come, we will see when that happens. Well, according to our weather radar, we have a storm that just appeared out of nowhere next to Mizpah on the southern side of the state. It seems to be forming once it um next was all right. Well, I guess we got ourselves a storm. We will be traveling down there pretty quickly. So we were already in our vehicle getting ready. Now apparently the direction is directly south. So we're heading down the southbound road from Hazleton, the capital. Now here's the good thing. Here's the good thing about Hazleton. Hazleton is the center, and it connects to four state roads that lead. Uh, to this one intersection that everybody takes before a chase. Because it heads into each direction across the state and goes straight across the state. So you can make it to your position pretty quickly. Now the storm spawns pretty far away, but this is where most people hang out as a storm chaser. Now we're going to be heading down to the storm, and I will see you guys when we get there. Alright, wow. 
Look at this storm. Looks pretty nice. Let's check the radar and see it's looking. Wow. Well, we got ourselves a clear hook. We're about to head down, and we're going to be turning up on f uh, 63 to get in front of this storm, and we'll be intercepting it pretty shortly. Uh, wow, a huge growth spike just happened. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that thing just grew right on top of us. The storm's very big. Uh, we will be crossing uh, 71, I guess, now. Or not. We might have this as our hook down here. And it seems like we just got ourselves another gigantic red core. This is a massive storm now. Alright, well, we are in right now. It looks like, yeah, I think we found ourselves our hook. Pretty visible, right here. That's gonna be our chase position today. But just in case a tornado does somehow spawn in this area, inside the storm, we're going to be waiting on the Wanaska intersection, and we're going to stay there until the tornado makes its way. And... No, it didn't just die. Alright, we, we already got ourselves a rotation, so... Already looks pretty big. Just started, and it looks like it's going to be pretty massive. There is a large rotation where you got ourselves right there at mass. But we're going to be heading up this way. Alright, it seems like we're we'll moving this way. So because we have it has such an open area to go towards, we're going to go very far ahead of it. We could stick around and watch Touchdown, but I think we should just do my overpowered strategy and stay ahead of it. Allow me to explain my strategy. Let's pretend road here, road here, interstate here. My drawing abilities are very awesome. I'm going like here, and then a little bit of a dirt road, and then dirt road go, goes across here, and then here. Yeah, we're gonna. that's going to be our map for today. And now let's say there's a gigantic storm down here. And then there is a tornado on the ground. Now, the, uh, when the tornado's on the ground, you probably saw there was this warning around it that told you where it was going to go. Now that's where the tornado is going to move. But, we're right here. Right now, this only shows that the tornado is probably 70 mile an hour winds, and over time, it's going to become stronger, like soon it'll be 80 can't draw 80 but soon it's gonna get stronger and as it gets stronger the tornado is moving faster so if we deploy here in, uh, in a 70 mile an hour wind we don't get much money because more more wind more wind more cash and more wind equals more cash now as the tornado hits us at 70, we'll probably make like $2 instead of 3000 So instead of that, instead of letting the tornado hit us weaker, we're going to go ahead and get in front of it. So as it moves, it'll get stronger. So let's get the, give this an example here. Alright, so the tornado's moving down this way. I don't want to deploy here because I'll get less money, so I'm going to go ahead in front of it. I'll pop into the interstate. Because the tornado is obviously moving in this direction. And now over time, because it's had a little bit of time to move around, it's now a yellow TVS. So it's about 100 mile an hour winds. And so you'll, you'll get more money. But I still want to stay ahead because I want to get the best tornado possible. Now the tornado is a red TVS. It can be 130 mile an hour winds. Still very strong, but I want to stay more ahead of it. And as we're still so far ahead, the tornado will be very, will be pink TVS strong, which means the tornado will be 150 mile an hour winds. So you can stay in front of it, and then get hit by its strongest form, so you can get a ton of money in the process. Hopefully you understand. So we're going to go very hard, far ahead of it. We're going to go completely out of the storm and onto this. So we're going to be going this way, this way. 
on the 48. And if it's not strengthened enough, then we'll go on the 13. Three, two, one. Alright, it's orange now, and it's striking Hibbing. Probably dealing with some serious damage there. Yeah, roofs are getting torn off. He's already uh, high end EF1, possibly EF2 by now. He's got himself a debris cloud already, so that's something cool. That store right there just got hit. Uh, Hibbing's in the middle of a bad thing going on right now. I think I might want to go backwards a little bit, see if we can get a peek at it. It's not moving fast enough, so we can obviously get ahead of it pretty quickly. I'm not gonna risk it and go to it. Check it out. Now, this thing's got itself a long lasting blue debris cloud right here. So, that's some good news, I guess. I don't see it yet. But, it's in the middle of doing some. Oh, never mind. Alright, back up, back up, back up. Stop, stop, stop. That thing's too strong. We don't want to risk it getting in front of us. Huge storm expansion right there. That thing's right in the middle of a hailstorm. Alright, we got ourselves a pink TBS. Uh, highly dangerous already. Literally highly dangerous. You do not want to get in with this tornado. If you do not have a tube. I'm not sure if I'm going to deploy it here. Actually, I'm just going to deploy it here. And then go around it. Just cut in front of it. If I can do so. So I guess I'm going to deploy it up here. But bad news is, that thing can definitely lift up my view. See it right now, but oh yeah, it's a multi vortex. Oh. I saw it correctly. It does look like a multi vortex. A direct path. We're gonna go right here. Once we get there, we're gonna deploy. So this goes as planned. Definitely picking up one speed fast. Oh, oh wow! Pretty big. Alright, we're deployed, so we're safe. Oh, this is a pretty big tornado. We're already at 100 miles an hour, we're not even inside it yet. So, lucky deployment time, yay. Definitely a wedge, so I think we can't call it a wedge. It's a different muscle than the GSX. Artist. Massive. 161, 162. 64. Oh, it's pretty big. Pretty 
big. Still growing rapidly. It's got itself a pretty nice pink warning. I'm moving as fast as I like it to, but it is a big burrito. Gotta stay pretty much ahead of it. Now, by the time we get under 130, I'm going to spawn a Hazelton and get in front of it. Reset. Maybe I can just go around it, but... Alright, well, pretty big tornado. Got a tiny bit of ground scouring, but not a lot. Uh, we're gonna kinda get ahead of it, if we can. We're in the pathway we want to go. Uh, is it's gonna hit Hazleton? Yeah, it's good. It's good news to deploy here. Deploy now. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, it's right there. Holy, it's right there. to us. Man, this is a high-end EF5, probably. Oh, no. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. No. -uh. Alright, so it's an EF5, yeah. But is it... No. No, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. No, it's 210. Alright. There's a small chance this thing might go over 220. Uh... Uh, as you can clearly see, every single house has been leveled around us. It's because we're directly over us. Currently 23. Looks like we might be beginning. Yeah, it's beginning. For sure. But... got destroyed. Hazelton just got slammed by an EF5. Pretty nice fo footage, if I could say so myself. We got another tornado right here. It's probably just as strong. 
as this one. I'm not sure if I want to go over after that one or stick around for that one to come by. But this thing is obviously dominating wind speeds right now. Just well, just enough wind speeds to undeploy right now. We just gotta worry about that thing now, or we can go in front of it and deploy again. But we go, uh, we can undeploy now. Thank God for the TF2. We would have been sucked up by Dom Three. Still doing, still doing damage in front of us. TF2 of two intercept, man, that's a heck of an intercept. I'm still getting camera shake back here. That thing's di dying. That thing's probably growing. So we're gonna head to the second. Hazleton was hit by a massive EF5 multi vortex, dealing massive amounts of damage. The tornado managed to level. 80% of all the houses in Hazleton. Leaving nothing but its ground base. And three floors were taken down from a skyscraper. The commercial area of Hazleton was also leveled. And when I returned to Hazleton that night, no lights were shown. This was the massive, this was a massive tornado outbreak. This was a very rare tornado outbreak. 